I'm going to show you the process that I'm going to use for hooking the generator up and running the house with the electricity. So the first thing I'm going to do is kill the power to the house. So right now, everything just went off. So also in an emergency situation, a power outage situation, you want to kill the power to the house because when you backfeed power from the generator you'd also be backfeeding power to the grid so if there's any linemen or anybody that's working on uh, the power trying to restore the power to the house you're sending electricity back to them so you could hurt them so always kill the power to the house so the next thing um, I already verified that the box that the power cable is hooked up to is off so now I'm going to turn this breaker on and this will allow the power to feed back to the box when I flip the switch upstairs. So that's on. All right, so now I'm back at the box. I'm just gonna double check. The switch is down, so this is off. Power cable. I'm gonna run it outside to the generator. I'll let them outside. this up make sure it's on my 240 flip the switch on all right so I have the generator on outside you can hear it I have the door shut so now I'm gonna <clears throat> take you along for the moment of truth here see if this works so when I flip this switch my lights should turn on in the garage all right so you heard the generator bog down from the load and now the house is running on generator power. So now I'm going to show the process of shutting this off and just to, just to show you again the house is actually running on the generator power. I'm going to go outside and turn the generator off. It's going to be loud. So now power to the house went off. So I'll disconnect power from the generator. Go back inside. I will shut off the breaker box. Unplug the cable from the box. And now I'm gonna go downstairs to the other box. Okay, so back in the basement. Now again, I will flip this breaker that goes to the box upstairs. I'm gonna flip that off before doing anything else. So before I turn the power back to the house from the grid, I'll go through and just flip everything off. 12 is already off. Now I'll restore power from the grid. And I'll go back ahead and turn all of the breakers back on for the house, except for the generator one. One thing I'm also planning on doing is putting like some labeling and some marking inside here uh, with instructions. So if I'm not home, then anybody would be able to do it, anybody who's here. So. Um, but the big thing, uh, safety wise, I would say, I'll reiterate, is always turn the power to the grid off before you start sending anything through. Even though the power's out, make sure you shut it off so you're not feeding power back to the grid and fucking kill somebody because I'm sure you don't want to be responsible for that. So that was how I plan on backfeeding power from the generator to power my house in case of an emergency power outage situation. Um, hopefully this video and the series helped you out a little bit. Um, if you like the video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if not, oh well. So this whole project uh, cost me probably about right around $65 for the whole thing. Um, I already had the electrical box and the wiring. So that saved me a little bit, but in total, I think with the box and the wiring, you could probably do it for around $100 to $150.
So uh, overall, I don't I don't think that's too bad for considering what it is. Uh, so if you're ever in that situation and you needed to run a refrigerator or a freezer or it's winter time and you need to run a furnace or a, uh, a sump pump, if you're like me, uh, but it's not the first thing on your mind all the time is the sump pump running. You might think about the food, the, the refrigerator, the freezer, and all that other stuff, but you might not think about the sump pump that's keeping your basement fit from filling up with water. So if you have a nice finished basement, your power goes out, you might be worried about keeping the hot dogs cold in the fridge, but you're not thinking about your basement filling up with water. So, so if you liked it, 